Once upon a time, there was a brave presenter who forgot to start the show. Sorry. I'm trying to write a short story for my friends. We're going camping this weekend, and each of us is going to bring a story to tell. I love telling stories. I think most people do. After all, people have always told stories, and examples of storytelling can be found in every country and every culture. Today's big question is: Why are stories important? Let's look at two famous storytellers to find out. This is Roald Dahl. He wrote lots of funny and exciting stories for children. He was born in Wales in 1916. When he was young, he started school, and he went to a school far from his home and family. He didn't like it very much, but luckily, it was near a chocolate factory, and students could try all the new chocolate. Later on, Dahl became a writer. He wrote some autobiographical books like *Boy* and *Going Solo*, but he mostly wrote fictional children's stories. Through these stories, he shared his own experiences, and one of his most famous stories is called *Charlie and the Chocolate Factory*, influenced by the chocolate factory from his school days. Dahl always wanted to entertain people. He loved creating fantastical characters, and his stories let people explore imaginary worlds. Most of all, Dahl believed in the magic of storytelling, and people still enjoy reading his stories today. This is Charles Dickens. He was born in England in 1812. Like Dahl, Dickens wrote stories to share his own experiences. When he was 12 years old, Dickens was forced to work in a factory. It was a horrible experience for the young author, and for the rest of his life, he wrote stories about people in similar situations. Dickens became one of the most popular authors of the time, and his stories, like Oliver Twist. A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations were read all over the world. Through his stories, he wanted to teach valuable lessons and encourage people to make the world a better place. His novels are still popular today, and they are an excellent record of what life was like in England at that time. Hmm. I'm still trying to start my story. Now, where's my pencil? Ah, that's a great idea for a story. The mystery of the missing pencil. What do you think? <laughs>